is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac size hope y'all are well hope y'all are having an amazing weekend so far uh, let's see if y'all hear some noise in the background that's my baby she's in there planning her little jumpy thing okay let's see what's going on give me three cards for scorpio what's going on with scorpio three cards for you for scorpio Cards for Scorpio. One more, please, for Scorpio. All right. So we have Jim meeting someone at Jim's, uh, staying long hours, doing more than working out. We also have coming in after you and then running away. Oh, child. And keeping you a secret. Well, looks like somebody was doing some cheating here. Now they're trying to run away from it. Okay. Now they're trying to run away from it. So. What is this? Clarify the gem card for Scorpio. Clarify that gem card for Scorpio. The Emperor. Hold on just a second. Sorry, y'all. The Emperor. Okay, what's coming in after you? The Chariot. <laughs> what's running away then? The Ten of Pentacles. Child, what is going on here? Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. Okay, so the gem with the emperor. This could be a baby mother, baby father. This could be somebody in masculine energy, whoever it is, okay? Um, there's somebody that could have been cheating or got caught cheating here, okay? There's evidence, there's proof that somebody did it or somebody met somebody else or met somebody on the side. I don't want to use that deck. Sorry, y'all. Somebody that met somebody on the side here. The evidence could be coming out about that or the evidence is well known or available or what's why why is this coming out why is this gem with the emperor energy or somebody could be or the lies that somebody was telling is starting to come out what's the the uh gem with the emperor what's this about for scorpio okay some of y'all this happened in the past yeah somebody could have betrayed somebody uh stabbed somebody in the back with this karmic relationship Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So there could be some sort of resentment here. This could have happened in the past. It says, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, right? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, and lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So whatever this was that happened, this betrayal, this heartbreak, this pain, it caused some sort of major transformation in your life here. Okay, what's the jam with the emperor? stable man they got their ish together and fancy living someone's used to living the good life so this is somebody who is very stable okay that's financially stable they want more in life red flags or this is somebody this could be a very greedy person this could be somebody you know they want they what was the proper way to say is they want their kate and edith too but i say they want their uh they want their cake and eat everybody else's too. So this is, yeah, red flags. This is somebody, somebody could be a smoker as well. Somebody could be very greedy, okay? They feel like because they have money or because they're stable that, you know, that they could have whatever they want. What's the gem with the emperor? What's the gem with the emperor energy? We have emotional abuse. Oh, wow. And red flags. Yeah, this is somebody that someone needs to take care of their health in a long time someone needs time for themselves so this person whoever this was they could have went out there and cheated and stuff like that or they were spending more time with another person whatever this was okay somebody's reflecting back on the past or their past decisions okay realizing what they did uh which was some sort of deception some sort of heartbreak some sort of pain right that has changed some sort of I mean, it created, it's like, maybe they weren't thinking about it at first, but it created like a sudden change in their life. It really surprised them or like somebody's having an epiphany moment of like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know if they weren't in the right mindset or they're not in the right mindset right now because this emotional abuse card is here. And so somebody could be trying to focus on their health, focus on, you know, taking time to themselves here. Maybe somebody didn't realize that they were dealing with trauma or, you know, if, if you're in this energy of always thinking the grass is greener on the other side, then that says something about yourself where, you know, you feel like you live so so much of a good life that you deserve to treat people the way, you know, you deserve to have this, this, this and that. Okay. 
What's this? Clarify the stable man with the living. What's the emotional abuse about? What's that for Scorpio? Oh, wow. Legal issues, court judges, immigration lawyers, etc. So now somebody could have legality problems because of this. So this could be a divorce. Yeah. Romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, F buddy, and bankrupt. Okay. So somebody could have did, you know, did this and now they're realizing like, wow, like now I've caused these legal problems. You know, I was living a good life. I'm telling you, this is like somebody that, that was married or in a connection or in a relationship. They were doing good, you know, and then they went out and did something else okay mess around with somebody else and now it's like reality is finally setting in somebody stuck in their head it's, it's like somebody just partied too much somebody did a little too much now they're feeling lonely impersonator and incarcerated this is somebody that they could have got with somebody that wanted to be like you or they wanted to copy another person, like, you know, wanting to be out there like, yeah, I got I got this chick and I got this chick on the side here, da da da, da. But now they're realizing that they've kind of trapped themselves in some sort of way. One second. Okay. So now somebody could be realizing, like, you know, maybe at one point they had a good life and now they're kind of going through it because now they realize they got to go through some sort of legal issues and things like that. Okay. It's like it's finally hitting them and it's all because of a romantic love affair. It's kind of like completely changed their life. Okay. What's coming in after you with the chariot for Scorpio? Coming in after you with the chariot for Scorpio. Coming in after you with the chariot for Scorpio. Coming in after you with the chariot for Scorpio. Not enough. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So now there could be some jealousy. Somebody could be wanting to come towards you here. You got, I mean, basically two chariot cards here. Somebody wanting to come towards you, okay? Or wanting to move, okay? Yes, yeah, separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. They, it's like they're not sure what, what to expect in the future here. They could have did this because, you know, they were insecure. Grass looks greener, but it's artificial. Yeah, they, they could have felt, you know, they could have been insecure about the situation or insecure about themselves, and so they had some sort of, they were self-sabotaging, you know, what's the coming in after you with the chariot? What's that? Insatiable female, never satisfied, always wanting more. What's the chariot? Jumping to conclusions. Oh, wow. One more coming in after you with the chariot for Scorpio and forgiveness. So this could be somebody wanting to come back for forgiveness a long time. Someone needs time for themselves. They could be coming back for forgiveness because they realized that they were insecure about a situation. Okay. This is somebody that wasn't happy, always jumping to conclusions, always assuming things, assuming the worst or assuming the, you know, that things weren't working out. You know, maybe they're jealous. And so they would like jump when it came to jealousy and things like that. But it's like, no matter what somebody did, they were never satisfied. They were always wanting more, wanting more, wanting more. And so somebody could be asking for forgiveness, whether this is a male or a female. Hacked, egotistic person, and spiritual narcissist. This could have been somebody that was very much in their ego, that was could have been very manipulative with this hacked energy, you know, wanting to uh, manipulate a situation or cause some sort of... And they could have even, with the spiritual narcissist, this could have been somebody that was against another person's religion or beliefs or like they used, you know, spell work, that type of energy. It's like the way somebody spoke, like they could have been speaking things, like filling people, a person's head up with certain things to believe this and believe that, you know, like manipulative energy for somebody to get what they wanted. And what's this? Insatiable, jumping to conclusions and forget. Scarcity tactics, all because they wanted somebody to miss out on something. This is an obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy possessiveness and karmic. This is somebody very possessive, um, a very unhealthy connection, very toxic connection. You know, they with the scarcity tactics, this is like someone doing something and then family issues with jackpot. This could be as simple as like if you have children with this person, this person wasn't helping with the kids or they weren't helping to like try to... Uh, resolve anything they would pull back they wouldn't do it they wouldn't put in any work any effort that you know they just they would make things more uh difficult to cause family issues here because again it's like somebody wanted their cake and everybody else's too so it's like because of the insecurities and the jealousy and the self-sabotage and they could have messed up this connection because they wanted to 
basically like what's okay what's the coming in after you with the chariot be selfish yeah threatening intimidated threatened and bothered this could have been somebody that was very intimidated by you scorpio like if this was if say you were connected to a, a person you had kids with and they had another person that other person could have been intimidated by you and so they would like spiritually manipulate and things like that that person like oh well you shouldn't do this with them because they're spiritual or oh you shouldn't do that with them because they're catholic or they're christian or you shouldn't do this with them because i don't do that with my baby daddy baby mama or i i don't think you should do that like you know it's like somebody caused a lot of scarcity problems or or but it was for selfish reasons it was because of somebody's jealousy or because somebody was frustrated of another relationship or the connection that you and another person had like they didn't like that Somebody could, you know, have been uh, had some sort of lack of confidence or, you know, fear of losing them to you or fear of this person coming towards you here. It, it was somebody very threatened. Yeah, they lost their chance or you did. A groupie. They could have got with a groupie. Okay. This is someone that actually lost out on a chance with you or you lost out on a chance with them. And then so somebody was trying to like grasp for straws by like doing things with the scarcity tactics like breadcrumb you. I'm saying this is like, especially if y'all have, if y'all have kids, this is somebody that would be like, they'd be like, they'd listen to the other person and the other person say, I wouldn't pay them child support because da 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 da, or I wouldn't even try to cooperate with them or work with them because da 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 da, you know, is somebody really getting in the mix that shouldn't be getting in the mix or whoever this third party is, whether it's a mother or uncle, I don't know, something like that. Somebody may be wanting to ask for forgiveness because they realized that they were being quite greedy. Again, if this is somebody that wanted you and another person or like wanted you to stay here while they go towards another person, it's like they were being, they were breadcrumbing you while they were giving to this other connection, but expecting you to still give to them. You know, what's running away with 10 of pentacles for Scorpio? Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting and hesitation. So somebody could be running away from the situation and focusing on their money or focusing on their stability. Whoa. So for some of y'all, this person, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Somebody could now be running away trying to focus on their money because, again, if they were breadcrumbing you, not giving you what you deserved, um, they could be coming in and ask for forgiveness. And they could have been doing this due to legal issues. You know, they could have been going through some sort of legalities and stuff like that. So they didn't really have the money. So they were taken from you, you know, uh, due to jealousy, due to, you know, lack of confidence or insecurities in their life or with themselves. And so now it's like somebody's trying to run away from the situation and focus on their money with this Ten of Pentacles or focus on some sort of generational wealth and just kind of have faith that, yeah, clock need time takes time. It's like somebody's, you know, running away or getting away from this energy and focusing on their money in their bag and realizing like, okay, in time, in due time, love will come. You know, love is meant to come. Love will come in my life when it's meant to. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to focus on my bag, my money, my stability, my kids, you know, like tangible things, okay? What's running away with Ten of Pentacles? Single woman, not the committed type. Yeah, what's running away with Ten of Pentacles? Bad deals, running away. And psycho. Somebody could be realizing they're dealing with a crazy person. Oh, wow. This could be why somebody's running away and focus on their money. Y'all, what the hell? Single woman, not the committed type, bad deals and psychos. Somebody could have got into business with another person. Yeah, crazy. Someone's been acting crazy or wheel. I mean, this could be somebody literally like getting into business with another person or somebody's focusing on their money, right? And allowing love to come in. And now they're realizing like, this was a bad, I don't know, somebody's realizing they got the bad deal or the shitty end of the stick. Energy interference. Somebody's, someone doesn't want to be seen. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to run away from the situation and be like, oh no, I'm over here focused on my money. That has nothing to do with me. Oh, no, no. Somebody's trying to play innocent now. Like they weren't doing something. Uh-uh, I don't like that. This is sneaky. What's the single woman with not the committed type? What's that about? single woman not the committed type too busy winning yeah somebody somebody's focused on a bag and they winning when it comes to the money and the finances because they're not focused on love they're kind of open this could be you scorpio you're open you're like hey i'm gonna focus on my bag until the end when love comes in love comes in you know what i'm saying acting cold is here on the bottom of the deck. you could be emotionally detached from this person because of this how they treated you right 
but it's like you're focused on your money and this is how you're winning, right? Now, what's the bad deals? Fake flexing. So there is somebody that's act rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. There could be somebody that is trying to partner up with you that's fake flexing or like this could be somebody that's Oh, talking ish. This could be somebody that's talking ish about you as well. Clarify the bad deals. What is it, mama? Boss B. So there is somebody that's bankrupt. Okay, there is somebody that's out here fake flex and acting like they got it like that. But they really don't unbothered. Yeah, but you're unbothered by this. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> There is somebody out here that's like a fake flexor as well, but there's also somebody that's like focused on their bag and focused on their money. So I don't know if this is like somebody trying to run away like they didn't make a deal with this person. Child, what is this? Somebody could be going bankrupt because of a deal that they decided to make with somebody or the direction that they decided to go. Unbothered ego. Could have been based off of somebody's ego. Oh, child. Dirt digging. Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Somebody could be trying to dig up dirt on you as well. Watch who you partner up with, Scorpio. Because somebody, it's like somebody's trying to hinder your finances. Be careful who you're partnering up with, okay? Because somebody could be trying to hinder your finances. What's psycho? What's the psycho energy for Scorpio? Broke butt. Somebody could literally be going broke and they're going crazy, okay? Into you, good good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. This could be somebody you left out in the cold. Creativity. They could be like eating off of you, taking off of you in some sort of way, y'all. So be careful. Thief, they're trying to steal. This is what it is. They're trying to, I'm telling you, there's a there's somebody, somebody that's winning. Somebody that's focused on money, right? And they're building, they're growing, they're creating, they're, you know, they're too busy winning, right? This person is single, self-sufficient, independent. They're not the committed type right now. They're not looking for a connection because they're focused on their money right now. And then this bad deals, somebody done got into some sort of connection, relationship, or partnership with a person where they're faking the funk, like fake flexing, like, yeah, I got it like that. I'm doing it like that. But then there's actually one person with this boss B energy that's actually stable this this like runs their own business for real like there's a faker and there's a, a person that's really doing it and then you got the cycle with the broke butt card and this is telling me that somebody is like i'm getting i'm getting like crabs in a bucket type of energy with the creativity mantra the thief love triangle it has something to do with the third party it's like i don't know if something didn't go right with a third party or what but like somebody's trying to like do the crabs in a bucket where they're trying to take down another person. But they're trying to run away like, no, 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 I'm focused on my money. I'm focused on my money. Or no, I'm doing the same. Like they could be trying to copycat, copycat you. They could be trying to copycat you. This could be somebody that's holding a grudge against you because you're in this high vibrational energy. Or this could be somebody that's trying to move like they had a grudge against you and now they're trying to move towards this high vibrational energy. So that they can partner up with you. But I would be careful because this person, they're not coming out the way that. Mm -mm. They're not coming out the way that they appear to be. Okay. This this could be somebody that's codependent on you. Obsessed, possessive of you in some sort of way. You could have made the healthy choice to just love on you and end this connection. Right. But there's somebody that's codependent on your energy in some sort of way. Like they're literally, they're crazy for one. But they're trying to take from you. I don't, y'all, who, who's this crazy person? And it could be because they're going through some sort of legality problems. Like something didn't work out for somebody else. So now they want to kind of like run away. Like, oh, I'm focused on the money. But they're with that creativity muncher, they could be like trying to copy you, like steal your ideas, do what you're doing. But it's like, <laughs> but it's like somebody's faking the funk. Somebody's acting like they got more than they got, and somebody else really do got it. So, I don't know. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.